In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create and manage Python environments with Anaconda. So these are going to be the creation and management of virtual Python environments. So we're going to use two different applications to do this. We're going to do it in two different ways. I'm going to go to my Windows and I'm going to search for Anaconda. I'm going to open my Anaconda prompt. And then I'm also going to open um, Anaconda Navigator. Oops, the Navigator here. Okay, and I'm just going to pause the video while these applications open. Okay, so I have Anaconda Navigator open. I'm not going to update right now. I'll just say no, remind me later. And I also have the Anaconda prompt open here. So it's actually really easy to create a Python environment using Anaconda. We're just going to simply type Conda create dash dash name. This will be the name of our environment and I'm going to call this cmd because of the command line um, pi and we'll call it 3.6 so it's going to be python 3.6 and then we need to give it our python version which will equal 3.6 so once we do that we're going to hit enter and it's going to take a minute and it's going to go through and it's going to create um, our installation. It's going to install these new packages. So I'm going to say yes to install these. And it's going to take a minute to download and install everything. So I'll pause this while this continues. Okay, so our environment is finished creating. You can see that that's done. It gives us some hints here. We could use conda activate to activate this environment. So we type conda activate and then the name of the environment, and this is on Windows. Notice if you're doing this um, on Mac or Linux, you'll probably have to type conda source activate. And then if we want to deactivate an environment, we'll use conda deactivate. Um, this is really annoying. Okay, so we'll say no remind me later on that. Let's go up and just take a look at some things here that happened after we typed our command. So here we typed our command to create this environment. It says, a newer version of Conda exists, so we can update Conda, um, and it tells us how to do that. And then it tells us it's going to download and install these packages, which we already went through, okay? So now, let's say I wanna see what environments I already have. That's very easy to do. We're simply going to type Conda env list. And when we do that, it's going to list all the Python environments. And I'll just pause the video while those come up. Oh, here it is right there. So you can see we have our base environment. And we have uh, the CMD PY36 environment. And this asterisk indicates that base is our current environment. Now, if I want to deactivate the environment I'm currently using, I can simply type conda deactivate. So let's type that. That will deactivate base. Now you see that base no longer appears next to my command prompt, my, my current line. So now I can type conda env list and it will show me my environments again. This time base will not have, oh base still has the asterisk. It is still the active one because we have to have one active. Okay. So now let's activate a new environment. And if you'll remember, we had a hint up here. We just type conda activate the name of the environment. So we could do conda activate cmd pi 36 and hit enter. And now I get cmd pi 36 right here. And if I type Python, then you can see that I'm running Python 3.6.10. Okay. And now let's do conda env list and see if our asterisk appears next to our current one. And you can see that it's switched here. So now let's do conda activate base and switch back to our base environment. Let's type Python again here. And you can see that this one is using Python 3.7.4. We should also be able to type Python dash dash version, which tells us the version 
for which Python, oh, that's not going to work with this command prompt right now, um, but it gives us, if we do Python dash dash version, we can get the version of our current prompt, of our current um, environment. Sorry for that. Okay, so now let me show you how you can do this graphically. Oh, one more thing I want to point out. When we created this environment, let me go back up to where we created it. Sorry, we can just do where we list it. So if we do um, conda env list, it will tell you the location of these environments, which is important to know. So you can see we have this is in the Anaconda 3 folder, and this is Anaconda envs folder, and the cmd py folder. Or that's the, this is the name of the um, environment. Okay, so let's go back to the, let's go over to the navigator now and create one of these graphically. So we can come over, we can create, click on environments, and you can see that it lists all the environments that I already have here. So it has base and it has CMD Pi 36. And you can see that this tells me this is the active environment. Okay, and we can just go back to our command prompt to confirm this that indeed base is the active environment. Now we can come down here and click create. So let's make a new one and we'll call this um, nav because it's a navigator. Um, and let's make this uh, three point or three, we'll make this three seven, nav three seven. So you wanna do Python, we're gonna select a version, we're gonna get 3.7 and we're going to click create. And notice it's gonna put it in my ENVS folder, my environments folder. So I'm gonna click create here. And it's gonna take a minute to create that. And I'm gonna pause this while that finishes wrapping up. Okay, so it created that environment and it made that the active one. So let's go back to our prompt and uh, just type uh, conda env list. And you can see that we now have nav37 on there. This keeps asking for an update, and I'm going to say no remind me later again. Okay. And so I'm going to click on this play button here. And I can open in the terminal. I can open it with Python. Okay. And so there you can see that we have um, these environments. Now let's say that I created an environment by accident. I didn't want to have this nav right here. Um, I can click on this, and I can now click remove. And it asks if I want to remove this environment, and yes, I do. And so it's going to take a minute here to remove that environment. So I'm going to pause this while that happens. And now you can see on my list I only have CMDPY36. Now I'll go back to my prompt, and we'll just double check this again. So we'll do conda env list. And when this happens, you'll see that nav37 will no longer be listed there. Just like that. Okay, so now um, let's say I want to remove CMD Pi 36 using the command prompt. I'll show you how to do that now. And we simply do that with conda env remove dash dash name CMD PY 36. Actually, I want to show you one more thing. before I do that. So let's go, first of all, let's activate that one. Let's do conda activate CMD PY36. Okay, now let's say I want to just deactivate this environment. Um, I actually switch to it and I wanna go back to my base. The way I do that is simply by typing deactivate. If you're on Mac or Linux, you'll have to type source deactivate. Oh, so sorry. This is depreciated. It's going to be conda deactivate. Okay, so we'll hit deactivate there. And now I don't have um, anything listed there. So let's go um, conda 
ENVs list just to show our environments one more time. Oh yeah, Conda ENV list. And let's go ahead and we're going to remove this. And so if you remember how we did that, we we're gonna do Conda ENV, sorry, it was just Conda remove dash dash name and CMD PY reset. I apologize again. This is be Conda ENV remove. Once we have that, we can click hit enter. And that has removed um, the environment. So let's just do conda env list. And you can see that we're back to having just our base environment again. Okay. So that is how, I need to get rid of this thing. That is how you can manage and create Anaconda environments for Python. Um, hope you enjoyed this video. Feel free to check out opensourceoptions.com for code and other tutorials. And thanks for watching.